In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a line plot using the pivot charts functionality in Excel. So you can see I have my data set here. I have 1,470 rows of observations about employees in a fictional company. And I'm interested in learning more about how many employees I have relative to the distance they live from the workplace. So the first thing I'm going to do is with a cell selected inside my data set, I'm going to come up to the insert tab and under the charts group, I'm going to select pivot chart. I'm going to leave all the default values alone because I would like this to be in the new worksheet and I'm going to select OK. Now I'm interested in having distance from home on the X axis. So I'm going to simply grab that value, click, drag and drop it under axis categories. And I'm going to use employee number as my value. Now you can see that it automatically defaults to summing employee number because it's a numeric value and that's Excel's default. So I want to change that. I'm going to click the drop down here, come to value field settings and select count. OK. And now you can see I have a count of employees at each of these distances from home. However, you can also see that I don't have a line plot here. Excel defaulted to a bar plot here in this pivot chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the pivot chart tools and under design, I'm going to select change chart type. I'm going to select a line plot and hit OK. And now I have a good looking line plot. A couple things I can do to clean this up before I use it for a presentation or something. I can right click on these and select hide all field buttons on chart. That gets rid of those. Since I only have one line and I'm going to label my axes, I really don't need a legend. So again, under the design tab, under add chart element, I'm going to add my axis titles, first of all. And then I'm going to come to legend and I'm going to select none and get rid of the legend. And then I can rename my axes appropriately. So I have distance from home here on the X axis. And here on the Y axis, I have my number of employees. And then of course I can title the actual plot itself as I see fit and then I can change the appearance if I so desire. And that's all there is to it. If you like what you see, feel free to click the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And until next time, happy learning.